Hello and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Aries and happy birthday to all of my Aries. If you have texted me your uh, your birthday, I have sent out all the birthday text messages on today. It's still not too late when you watch the video. If you want to text me and say, hey, you know, I've spoken with you before, but I don't think I gave you my birthday. Just let me know. Just let me know and I will I will store it and make sure you, you get a personal Happy birthday text message from me. Again, this is Motivational Monday. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates with you, Aries. Let's get into it. I am talking to my Aries sun, moon, rising, Venus, north and south node. So don't forget to watch the other videos in the placement, whether it's my videos or someone else's videos. You know, I support other readers as well. So um, whoever resonates most with you, that's where I want you to be fed, okay? That's what, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your general reading. It's Motivational Monday. All right, let's go. All right, so the energy has already been cleared. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's see what these cards have to say. All right. Oh, very nice. Okay. Very, very nice. I was going to tell you all something funny, but I'm going I'm to keep it on. <laughs> I'm going to keep it here. Ah, I'm going to keep it here. Okay, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna keep this short and sweet. You got a lot of major things that's happening with you. All right, here we have the magician card. So some clear messages are coming through to somebody. You know, you all are such givers, right? You all are such givers, and all that's great. You know, to be a giver until people start taking advantage of your giving nature, right? But I'm seeing that somebody's learning how to balance out their own scales, right? Somebody's getting their your intuition is like, you know what? Maybe I need to start focusing on balancing out my own scales and doing things to nurture myself, right? Embracing all sides of myself. So what I'm seeing in the cards is that somebody asks source or God or deity or whatever you consider your higher power to be, what do I need to do? Like, what is it that I need to do? That could have been in somebody's prayer to get a little bit more organized, right? A little bit more structured, right? So somebody consulted their higher self, their intuition, which is God in them. We have the temperance card and the higher font card. The chariot card is attached to cancer and no coincidence. We're in the first quarter moon of cancer. Nice, nice, nice. The magician card is attached to the planet Mercury. That's the messenger planet. So messages are coming through to somebody as you're sending out the information you're communicating with source. You're also being in receiving mode, spending some time by yourself and feeling real good about it, right? So actually what source has been telling somebody is to focus on healing because we have the nine and the um, knight of swords. Somebody is focusing on their healing, right? These used to be tears of pain, but now these are going to turn into tears of joy where you may be by yourself. Have you ever just kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe my life. And those are happy tears. Like, I finally found the key, right? I finally found the key. So I do see somebody being very happy in their organization, whether it's your company that you created and or the business that you work, I mean, the company that you work for or your business being very, very happy. But I do see somebody getting laser focused, getting as far away from anything that triggers low vibration energies, right? So yeah, like I said, and, all of, and also, also, I see somebody, if, if, and this is a if, because not everybody is interested in marriage. I do see somebody getting married. Okay. I do see somebody getting married, but it's because of the change that you did. It's something that you did. And I know that I, I have subscribers that are already currently in there and very happy, healthy, um, unions. So, um, if it's not a, a romantic marriage, I see somebody being married to somebody in business. So that's, you know, like, not okay let me be clear <laughs> i see somebody signing a contract with somebody in business and then just being very happy but it's because you've gotten laser focused you really really gotten laser focused right and just been in the receiving mode like basically like you know putting out in the universe okay i had a dream about something i had a vision about something you know what does all of this mean maybe you heard it in a video whether it's one of my videos or somebody else's videos and, um, and that was the answer that I need. That was the confirmation that I need. Okay. Now it's time for me to get laser focused, get to work, you know, that kind of thing. And now things are starting to happen for me. So yeah, be crystal clear about exactly what it is you want. If you want to sign a contract with somebody, whether it's a romantic relationship agreement or whether it is a business relationship agreement, put it out in the universe and then wait for some answers. Cause they're coming. Believe in the impossible. 
That's right, that color blue, your throat chakra, speak it into existence. Somebody is going to be speaking some things into existence, right? Somebody's going to say, you know what? I never thought it would be possible that I could marry this person, or I never thought it could be possible that I could be in business with this person. And then boom, when it happens, your mind is blown. And this right here, where it was sad tears are now happy tears. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, oh my goodness. OMG. I have met some people that I thought I would never meet in the, like I would never come across their path and they just walking around, like walking around. Here we have, I hold inside me a place of peace and silence that cannot be disturbed. Now you want to talk about wealth. This is true wealth. Peace. What? That surpasses all understanding. You can transcend outer disturbance and remain unaffected by them. That is so, so, so true, Aries. Let's pull one more Oracle card before we close out your reading. But I'm so excited for somebody because, again, if you're not, if you're somebody, like I said, somebody's going to be signing a contract, working with somebody and or a marriage agreement contract, right? Yes, but all it takes is you put it out. Somebody, people don't, some people don't believe it, that you, you can manifest. That's why, you know, I start my readings out. Like, I know you all are having a great day because that's the intention you set. When you wake up and your eyes pop open, today is a great day because that's the intention you set. I don't even worry about at this point, Aries, if people think that I'm too happy or too upbeat or whatever, because people don't know. Even if I just talked about my military career, I shouldn't be happy. If I should, if I, talk, if I talked about just that, the craziness surrounding that, OMG. But that was so long ago. That was so many chapters ago. I can look back on it now and go, man, that was a crazy, crazy time. That was a crazy, crazy time. Just know, Aries, that some people don't want you to be happy. They want you to be where they are. They are low vibrational. They are miserable and they want you to be there. But hey, remember, you, you've, listen, somebody put the work in. Somebody already cried out to God and said, God, what is it? Show me, show me what I'm not seeing. When I'm telling you these tears right here, they used to be sad tears are about to turn into some happy tears. Just sit back and be in receiving mode. Just be patient with yourself like you've been patient with everybody else. I'm telling you, be patient just like you've been patient with everybody else. You all, are, and I say this a thousand times, Aries. So if you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. But Aries is one of the most patient signs on the planet. Yes. So this is where you're going to be that patient with yourself because some things are happening for some people. Journal it. Better journal it. Somebody better journal it because it's going to blow your mind. Aries, you got to believe in yourself. Start manifesting those things. We're coming into this full moon in, um, in Libra. And that's where you're, you're, se you're severing ties with things that don't serve your highest purpose. Like fear, like doubt, like any addictions of some sort. If, that's, if you think that person is your person and you feel like that's my, your twin flame, say it. Speak it into existence. Show me. Make sure. Just, you know, speak it into existence. I feel like that's my person. I feel like that's my contract. I feel like I want to go after that. Keep your vibrations high. Keep your attitude high vibrational. Be positive. Those are, these are what I'm seeing right here. Yep. And watch it happen. Somebody's going to have a big old smile on their face. Yep. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye, Aries.